हेलो हाउ आर यू आई एम अंडर द वॉटर प्लीज हेल्प मी हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज किस That was unexpected. But if things are smelling a little fishy around here, it's more to do with the deck I'm playing at the moment and not that sock that's under my bed. You know the one. But this week I've been playing sharks, so let's dive right in because I like to get wet. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Where did the fishy go? Cool stuff things off. Got one, two, three buzzsaw shark. Uh this one the best normal summons you have in the deck because you can talk another water monster and special summon one same level but a different name from your deck and gains effects blah 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 but yeah really cool so it's not even on summon as well so if you just get it to the field somehow and later on the turn then you use buzzsaw shark that's cool uh one of the new cards from rota it's the old surfacing big jaws it's a retrain of big jaws which is some useless from level three if this card is used for an xyz summon it is treated as a level three or five monster so that's cool you can summon rank threes or rank fives as long as they're water um, if at any point in the turn a spell card's been activated, you can just like activate its effect and hand to special summon itself. And then on normal summon or special summon, I can add a fish shark monster from your deck to your hand. So like, it's, it can be an extender. It's also a good normal summon, and it searches you like combo pieces as well. Uh, probably the most expensive card in the deck is Abyss Shark. Try finding your hand on these because it was an ultra rare and a bloody useless set. Um, if it's used for a number monster, it can be treated as a level 3 or 4 monster. So that's pretty good because like some of your monsters in your deck are level 4s. Actually, pretty much all of them are level 4s. So that's what you can be summoning just as long as it's a number monster. Um, if this card is special, uh, so you can special summon this card from your hand and then add a level 3, 4 or 5 fish monster from your deck to your hand except Abyss Shark. This turn cannot special some monsters set water monsters, also double the first damage inflicted to your opponent by a number of monsters. So you can get a cheeky OTK somewhere in this thing, but at the same time it is just, and again, another extender and searches follow up. Hey, I'm seeing a pen. Uh, playing one for one, so Butuniful Princess. Uh, normal or special summons, again, is really good, like one card start and normal summon. Banish this card, special summon a level four or lower fish monster from your deck set. Thing. So guess what, you can be summoning Buzzsaw Shark or Surfacing Big Jaws and get that in rotation there. So thank you Princess, you're doing your job. Uh, extended Fishborg Harpooner, um, don't worry about it being a tuner, but the cool thing about it is you can reveal this card and one water monster in your hand, special summon one of them and discard the other. So you're never really going to be summoning Fishborg Harpooner yourself. You're normally going to reveal it in hand with something like Buzzsaw Shark or something and then you're going to cheat it to the field by discarding the Harpooner and special summoning your Big Jaws or your Buzzsaw Shark and then getting your players going from there. Uh, one Drake Shark, one of the new cards. Um, if it's added to your hand, you can just special summon it. So if you summon Big Jaws, add Shark Drake to your hand, then Drake Shark will activate its effect to special summon to the field. So that's pretty good. So pretty good. Uh, one, uh, now we're into the one-offs here. These are all like the little like weird extenders. Remora, great detaching material, special summon itself, and then special summon back from the graveyard. This card is crazy. It's also an XYZ card as well, so you can add it back to your hand with one of the, with your Dark Knight Lancer, the Batman. So that's cool. Uh, one Leaf Fish, um, so you can Foolish Burial one mo uh, fish monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then you can also, like, mini prod of Avarice, like, shuffle stuff in and draw a card. Right Hand Shark, this is, um, if this is a material for Nick Seeds, it cannot be, the Xyz monster cannot be destroyed by battle if they do something to your shark or your hands like pretty poos. You just buzzsaw shark, summon this guy out, make Baguska and pass with a Baguska that's going to stop your opponent's monster effects on the field by switching to defense mode and it can't be destroyed by battle, so pretty good. Uh, Crystal Shark, used for an XYZ summon of a normal monster, treat it as level 3 or 4, that's good because it's a level 5 if you did not notice. If it's in your hand or graveyard, target a water monster, special summon this card, but banish it if it when it leaves the field. Doesn't need to even target your own, it can target your opponent's ones, so that's pretty cool. Yep, it can also special summon from the graveyard as well, so really good. And last off, another extender. I probably might want to bump this up because this card's kind of cool. If you just have to control a water monster, special summon this card from your hand. You cannot special summon except water monsters, <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern here. But uh, yeah, and then kind of like the leaf fish, you can just banish it to shuffle three Water monsters back into your deck, but you don't get to draw on that, but it's still kind of cool. So that's the fishy stuff. 
Uh, onto the hand traps. Why do I still smell fish? Anyway, um, three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, and went three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I don't know, I think this thing's kind of cool. Like, it helps deal with, like, the Asmina Speller Traps and stuff, getting them off the field and stuff so they can't go full combo on you. And it gets annoying stuff off the field as well, so you can just push for an OTK next turn. So, eh, you can change it up. That's it for the monsters now. We are getting into the spells. One of the new cards here, so what this is, is this is an equip spell. Treat it as an armed XYZ card, so you can search it off your XZ's monsters. The XYZ equipped with this. Remember, it has to be equipped to an XYZ to gain the effects, but you can equip it to anything. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Once per turn, if it battles this turn, you can return one card equipped to this card to the hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ one water XYZ monster. So a bit of battle tricks there. One full burial, one one for one. Uh, put stuff in the graveyard, get ready to start extending, or one for one for that Betunaful Princess. And also, these are all like very easy spells that you can activate as well to turn your surfacing big jaws on. Uh, Pot of Desires, um, yeah, draw cards, you need things. Uh, instant Fusion, I'm only running the one Instant Fusion. You, There is possibility to um, add in Ready Fusions as well, in which case you'll change up the extra deck slightly, but that's all up to you. Bit of preference. This deck is water, it's fluid. Be like water. Three talents, um, yeah, again, same deal. Um, you can start off your plays and then just bluff your opponent into making like some stupid play with a hand trap. Suddenly you can activate a spell and if you've got big jaws in hand, you can special summon it to the field and just extend on. And one called by the grave because hand traps eat the stick alive, especially the new Mole Charmies. In fact, this is probably the only reason why this deck doesn't do well because like Mole Charmies eat it alive. More bricks, Virtue Stream, so target a fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster you control, and two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. And you can also banish it from your graveyard to make your opponent's monster water as well. That's really helpful when there are things like that require specifically like fire monsters, like Heater and Promethean Princess and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Uh, full Armored XYZ, it's another brick, but part of the combo is you can discard it, so you can set up the um, equip, quick play equip onto your Dark Knight Lancer which is really cool. And rounding it off, three more hand traps, infinite impermanence. Um, if you had a bit of money, yeah, definitely throw in the mulch armies, definitely throw in the new uh, Indominus light trap card because everything's water. You don't care. Just adjust your hand traps accordingly. Uh, extra deck now. To Bahamut Shark, you are putting level four water monsters to the field so much and this card just makes it easy. Playing two totally awesome, you can cut this down to one and fit more stuff in, but I like the idea of going for two because sometimes if you draw your bricks, you don't need to go for Leverture Dragon, you can just make double totally awesome and they can cook people. Yeah, uh, Leverture Dragon, that searches out your, again, bricks like the Virtue Stream, but it also it's a level three as well, so you can start turning on stuff like your Fortress, which can go into your Crystal Lancer, if you need extra XZs, and then into your Full Knight, Dark Knight Lancer. These are all really good cards. Then we've got, right, this, these are the number monsters now. So, number 41, Baguska, this is Plan B, all goes to stuff. Just summon the Buzzsaw Shark, Right Hand Shark. Yeah, Buzzsaw Shark, summon Right Hand Shark, make this, and then it can't be destroyed by battle and it stops monsters. So they need a spell or a trap card to turn it off. Uh, one, number 101, Silent Honor Arc. I put that in because I need more number monsters to go for. Sometimes you don't want to burn your Baguska, you want to go Stealth Kraken, and then something, you want something else, so I went number 101. It's kind of cool, can steal stuff, but again, easily cut this to make room for other stuff. So, and then like Stealth Kraken as well. Oh, Stealth Kraken spawned to work with the Stealth Kraken. Just get that nasty little loot gun. This just gets destroyed, this comes back, then that brings this back. It's a pretty cool little loot, but you could definitely cut these two here for, I don't know, something. Let me get my little pile handy here. Like you definitely go for Shark Drake and Shark Drake Vice. Remember, if you use Drake Shark, you only need to use two monsters there. And then Shark Drake Vice, you just go over the top of that. And then you get something that does piercing. Uh, quick uh, detach from material, target one effect monster your opponent controls. And if you do, it's stacking to events becomes zero, negate its effect as well, so you could, it gives you a quick play interruption on a big 3-1 body that's doing piercing, so that's kind of cool. And then Abyss Dweller, pump up your stuff, 
not only does it turn off the graveyard when there is a lot of graveyard centric decks at the moment, but if it's got water monster as material, hey, I reckon it's going to in this deck. It gives everything a plus 500 there. And then we've got full armored Utopic Ray Lancer. Uh, yeah, you can just XYC this by like discarding a spell or trap and using a rank 4 or lower you control. And yeah, it's just a good way to like build up, keep going, and you can easily make this thing 5,000 and attacking twice. It's freaking insane. And then four ounce infusion target mud, mud dragon of the swamp. If you draw into the mud dragon into the instant fusion early, um, activate immediately, summon this, and then keep doing your combos, knowing that you're protected from effect Veiler, like ghost ogre and perm, all that sort of stuff. So that's it for the deck profile and a couple of combos just to get you on your way into the wonderful world of sharks. Hope you took a bite out of it. And well, what what am I gonna do with all this water? Oh, right, that's all I've got to do. <coughs> Much better. Keep it dry, everyone. I like to get wet.